This is H2O2 from H2O. And this is my humble laboratory. Thought I'd show off a little bit of this and uh, and then get into the, uh, the real reason I'm making this video and that is uh, the star of the show right here. This is the PWM version 2.1.5. My little uh, Radio Shack uh, digital soldering station. Pretty sweet little unit. Got it on sale. Anybody's interested, it's a uh, part number 64 053. Here's a sweet little tip that I buy and I modify it so it fits on this station. If anybody's interested in how I do that, uh, message me. I love the uh, 45 degree angle tips. You can get down on your work a little bit better. And if anybody knows um, a source for good tips that fit on this station, let me know. My Valman uh, PPS10 digital scope. All right. So the real reason for this video. This is the uh, H2O2. PWM version 2.1.5 and I'm putting a call out for beta testers. The documentation is complete and ready for the beta tester to build this unit. Let me give you a rundown on the specifications. Uh, input voltage is 11.7 volts to 28 volts DC. Uh, operational current for the PCB only, not including FETs or external devices, is approximately 30 milliamps. The frequency range is 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. You can modify that range by uh, changing one component to 0.5 kilohertz to 11 kilohertz. The duty cycle uh, manual is uh, 0 to 100%. The current limit uh, duty cycle is 0 to 100 percent. Um, there's a feature built in by shunting or shorting uh, a connector right here that is not installed yet um, that allows you to override the do any duty cycle that is um, preset and gives you automatically a hundred percent duty cycle and you can test your uh, your peak current that way makes it real quick to determine how hot your cell really is um, and if you need to add a little bit of water or dilute your solution down or add more electrolyte um, the current sense resistor R12 is approximately uh, 0.0015 ohms um, anywhere from about five to six inches the S plus um, or the shunt resistor input is a maximum of 100 millivolts so again I'm uh, putting a uh, call out for uh, beta testers. I'm looking for 10 of them. Um, I've got a small handful now and looking for more. Um, you can check the status of uh, whether I'm still accepting beta testers by uh, the notes in the video section uh, to the bottom in the uh, new YouTube format or to the right, your right. Um, in the old format. 
I am also interested in uh, input from my beta testers that are currently out there. Um, use this video for any uh, useful information. So how about more on the tour? This is uh, an older version, I believe uh, version 1.2.3. Not much has changed other than I stripped the parts off. This is a uh, power stick stripped down. Stole the parts off that one. These are all the, the prototypes. Uh, here's a current HE prototype. Actually, that's the first one. There is a uh, current HE um, one revision down. It's coming along quite well. Also have the current H HE prototype with the prototype amplifier on it right there and I'm actually beyond that now just haven't uh, tore this one apart yet recycle those useful parts here's a functional power stick that I use set that guy up for 13 volts or so and power up the PWM or whatever else I need to power up this green one here is a uh, Z-SPAN calibrator uh, that one's not released yet. Um, I do have some uh, technical uh, comments about it on the website. Um, that's version 2 right there. Version 1 was uh, at work um, on a breadboard. Um, I made these uh, for work, uh, but they are my uh, intellectual property. Uh, this one is the Z-SPAN version 3. Uh, multi-channel, four-channel, uh, everything is on the board except for the pots and the power plug. It's uh, really designed uh, with, if you put the pots on the board and a power plug on the board, you can use it just standalone, uh, but you get better resolution and better uh, stability if you put it in a case and keep the temperature constant. This little guy here is my uh, first use of a pickaxe microcontroller. It's a uh, it's a PWM. It's a digital PWM, and it's coming along slowly. It uh, takes the programming knowledge and, uh, of course, the electronics also. This one's uh, probably a year out. So there's my small laboratory. And that's it for now. Beta testers, please message me. This is H2O2 from H2O, signing out.